any hunter taking part in the Yarnum hunt, you will need weapons capable of taking down the beasts of the Dark City. In this episode of Weapons of the Workshop, we will take a look at the trick weapon, the Saw Cleaver, a weapon commonly used in the hunting business. This saw is effective at drawing blood of beasts. It transforms into a long cleaver that makes use of centrifugal force. The saw with its set of bloodletting teeth has become a symbol of the hunt and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. The saw cleaver is one of the starting weapons in the game. If you did not choose it as your starting weapon though, it can be bought after you obtain the saw badge near the gargantuan pig in the central Yarnum sewers. There is also an uncanny and lost version of the saw cleaver that can be found in the root chalice dungeons. These variations of the saw cleaver are exactly the same but come with alternative gem slots. The saw cleaver's main damage type is physical damage. It doesn't have any other damage types. However, you can change the weapon's damage type to fire, arcane, or bolt via blood gems. This will also take advantage of the weapon's arcane stat. If not, the arcane stat comes into play if you apply fire paper, bolt paper, or use some sort of other item to enhance the weapon. The saw cleaver transforms between a saw and a cleaver with the push of L1. The transformation also can be performed mid-combo to perform a transformation attack. The saw state of the saw cleaver has moderate speed, but a fairly short range. Its R1 light attack combo is two diagonal swipes followed by a horizontal swipe and then a vertical upward strike. The combo also involves the hunter stepping forward with each attack, allowing you to advance while attacking. The dodge attack for the saw cleaver's saw variant are both horizontal attacks. These attacks are for both the directional dodge and the stationary dodge. The dash attack you perform while running is a diagonal swipe with the saw cleaver. The R2 heavy attack is a slow but wide horizontal attack, while the charged R2 heavy attack is a stronger version of the heavy attack that deals more damage. You can use the heavy attacks while dodging. Performing a directional dodge will result in an attack similar to the standard R2 heavy attack, while performing a stationary dodge will result in an upwards vertical strike. The heavy dash attack is a slow horizontal sweep. You can perform leaping attacks with R2 and pushing forward from a stationary position. This will result in the hunter leaping forward with a diagonal swipe. Pressing L1 to transform your weapon mid-combo will result in the saw cleaver going from its saw state to its cleaver state via a horizontal swipe that increases the range of the weapon. Now in its cleaver variation, the saw cleaver gains increased range but as a result becomes slower to use. It will also gain a new set of attacks. The cleaver's R1 combo is a series of vertical attacks going both up and down. Again, the hunter takes a step forward with each attack, allowing you to push the offensive on foes. Both the dodge attacks while in the cleaver's state result in horizontal attacks. The dash attack of the cleaver's light attack is a large overhead downwards vertical strike. The heavy attack with R2 for the cleaver's state is a long horizontal swipe. This can be followed up with another heavy attack that results in another horizontal swipe in the opposite direction. The charged heavy attack results in a heavy horizontal attack that can be followed up with a second heavy attack that results in a downwards vertical swing to continue your assault. The directional dodge attack for the heavy attack is a horizontal attack similar to the standard R2 heavy attack, whilst the stationary dodge is again another downwards vertical attack. The cleaver's heavy dash attack is a wide horizontal sweep. The cleaver's leaping attack is a jumping wide horizontal swing with the weapon. Transforming the weapon back from its cleaver state to its saw state will result in a short horizontal attack. The saw cleaver is a weapon that scales with three different stats. It scales the most with strength and arcane, starting off at D and ending up as a C when the weapon reaches level 10. It also scales slightly with skill, starting at E and ending with D when the weapon reaches level 10. For those of you who do not know, stat scaling is how much your attributes will boost the weapon's attack value. The saw cleaver is a good starter weapon, and as with all Bloodborne's weapons, can be used for the entirety of the game. The weapon is good for a strength arcane build. The cleaver state has increased range, but does not have any real thrusting attacks, meaning that you still need to get fairly close to enemies to perform well. However, this weapon really does well once you're able to get up close and personal with foes. In its source state, it does really well against foes who can be staggered easily, meaning that you can continue your assault as long as you have stamina. 
It also does well in the cleaver state when it comes to facing multiple foes with its long sweeping horizontal attacks. Overall I would give the Saw Cleaver an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Remember that every weapon in the game is viable and can be used to tackle every boss and enemy. If you're at all interested in finding the uncanny or lost versions of the Saw Cleaver I will leave glyph codes in the description below. If however you already know a glyph code then please leave a comment below so others can find these weapons. Anyway I've been Darkblade bringing my Bloodborne Weapons of the Workshop guide to the Saw Cleaver. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.